Hey everybody, this is World War Guy here today, and today I'm actually going to make a video about using tropical or tropical gear for your impression. Now, before we begin, a lot of people they assume that you know the webbing and the tropical stuff was only used for the Africa Corps. Now, while the Africa Corps, Africa Corps used a lot of webbing more than the Continental troops, um, if you look at photos, that doesn't mean they were the only ones who ever were issued. Uh, webbing and so this video is to help you guys understand can you use this kind of webbing for your impression in Russia 1944 or Ukraine 1944 or whatever well it depends on the item first thing here is the uh, the tropical uh, Fedmutsa uh, this one you can really only use actually for North Africa and anywhere in Sicily or Italy um, these were made specifically for hotter climates because it's not wool, so it's more lightweight, uh, more breathable, and so on. Now, does that mean no soldier ever got this kind of um, this kind of Feldmütze in I don't know France, 1944? Who am I to say? I don't have any photographic evidence that these were used. So, to be on the safe side, I would only use this for North Africa or Italy slash Sicily and Italy. Uh, miscellaneous webbing straps again these were used by the Africa Corps you can safely use these for your Africa Corps impression but these were actually also seen in you know Russia France Germany Belgium uh, Netherlands and you know and so on basically anything after the North African campaign um, there were short shortages of leather they used webbing they had less leftover webbing stock so if it's not broken use it uh, y straps again, they were mainly used for the Africa Corps in northern Africa. Uh, they were also seen in Italy, Sicily, but they were also seen in Russia. Again, with the straps here, they had them in stock, they were still making them because of leather shortages. So, it is not uncommon to see uh, webbing Y straps in mainland Europe. And again, same thing goes for the webbing belt. Again, used mostly by the Africa Corps in North Africa, but also you can see these being used in, you guessed it, Sicily and Italy. And like I said with the two, uh, two last items, they had leftover stock, leather, was, or leather supply sorted shortages, and so they made webbing belts for soldiers to use. And canteen. Now, no, it is not the same as your webbing belt, your Y straps, and your miscellaneous strap. Uh, these were actually mostly seen in Sicily and Russia, and you know, of course, France and Germany and all that. Uh, a lot of people get this confused for a tropical canteen. Now, I have made a video uh, a couple of months ago that if you can use this for your Africa Corps impression. So if you want more detail on this, go ahead and check that video out. But basically, this canteen is actually more correct to use it in, you know, uh, Russia, Germany, France, uh, Ukraine, Belarus, all those countries and so on, uh, because these actually didn't get to, to see North Africa. As you can see there, this one's dated 1943, and I believe I have another one uh, dated 1942. So only maybe 0.01% ever made it to North Africa, and that's just, I'm just guessing, I'm just assuming, uh, I have no proof on that. So this would actually be more correct for your Euro mainland European impression. And of course, you know, it all depends on what item you have. Obviously, you probably can't use a tropical tunic in uh, Germany 1945. That was most likely not going to uh, be seen there. So it all depends on what item you want to use for your impression, but of course, always use original photographs. Make sure it is the you know same unit you're portraying. If you're going specific, make sure you know it's the right date, right you know year, place, and everything like that. But these are some of the main items you're probably thinking about for your main impression. I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, drop a like, write a comment, share the video to help your fellow reenactors. Re subscribe. But besides that, you guys have a great day.